Well, hello my friends, El Furtado here, the Rebel Turner. And I have promised to do a burrow. What's behind me? Which I gotta do some prep. But I'm one of those people that I do what I'm in the mood to do. <clears throat> and perhaps that's part of the success. be forced to do something that I should do well on Facebook I was intrigued by a piece that somebody linked with a very short video of it just spinning on a lathe at a slow speed and uh, right now I don't know who the piece was done by but when I do the editing I'll make sure that I put a put maybe that little clip and also who did the original piece that I'm about to attempt. Attempt in a very different wood, one of my own woods, but one that I think will do some justice to the piece. Probably not nearly as nice as what I saw on Facebook, but it will have its own character. And what it is, it's a very white chalice type thing with a stem and the natural base, almost like a goblet, a wide mouth goblet, and with a spiral. Um, I hope I can achieve that. So, um, the piece of wood that I'm going to be starting off with is um, a branch that I thought would be appropriate for the piece, not because it's a great wood, but because of the shape, the size that I have. It's not going to have the bright red center to it, which would uh, enhance it quite a bit. But it should be an interesting piece with something a little different from what I normally do. So let's get started. I, uh, all I did to it to this point was threw up this edge leaving me a tenon and I made a tenon on both sides. Not that I needed it on both sides but the piece, the cuts were not completely square so I wanted to get something that was more or less squared on both ends and so anyway I got it in my jaws like it's ready to be turned. Now this is going to rely uh, a lot of it uh, done without the live center so uh, the first thing that I want to do is start maybe coming out taking a little bit of this because it's kind of heavy on the side and create somewhat of a concave just in the middle here and then see where I'm going to be hitting and starting establishing the inner shape of this and go through. Um, the Hardest point is probably going to be making the spiral on this. So let's get started and uh, see what comes up out of this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now before doing anything on this middle for the spiral, um, got to make sure you hollow this out because this will become weak over here and you're not going to be able to do a lot of work. Uh, in here putting a lot of stress on this area. I am going to use the steady rest and uh, that will help stabilize this piece while I'm hollowing this out. And this piece, I'm going to be hollowing up the inside pretty much all with the uh, Carlin Sun 5 8 bow gouge. Treating this just like any bowl. Just going to put it on the park itself. Where the bark meets the sapwood. Then I'll do the outside as well. And like I said, this is not to fix anything. This is to protect the spark from uh, breaking off by the handling of the piece. Now this is sanded right now to uh, 120 only on this uh, inside so I'll be able to sand this up to the finer grits.
Now I'm going to take it off from the lathe so I can put this upside down so that CA doesn't run down the piece. Very careful not to put too much pressure on that so you don't split that. And uh, this same story here, just going to go over very lightly, right on the edge of the sapwood and the bark. Okay, so I got my tool rest and I got my spindle locked on an 8 position. So this will be uh, 22 and a half degrees to each one of these. These are just reference lines to where the spiral is going to intersect. Okay, so now I'm going to divide this up more or less in half. I'm going to start the first spiral right underneath this gooseneck and underneath here. That looks pretty good. Split this up in half again and split this up in half. Now this would probably be still too much so do it one more time. Split them up in half again. If I don't need them easy enough to avoid them. Okay, so now that I got a grid in here, I have something to go by on my pattern. I'm going to go corner to corner, each one of these. So there's my first spiral 
and I'm gonna skip one because or else they would be too thin corner to corner again this is just a reference line So this will be like one rib. Skip. Yeah, it would be too thin to uh, put them in every one of them. Okay. And one more. Corner to corner. So there I go. I got my beginning of what this spiral should look like. Now, if I wanted to make this hollow in the middle, <clears throat> rather than a, a rope, which works out pretty well, then I would drill all the way through and this would be a completely different look, but the piece would have that hole going down the center up to pretty much the stem. So I don't think I want to do that. I think I want to just create something. So now what I got to do in here is do a cut on these and there are different methods <clears throat> of doing this no doubt about it one of those methods is by taking the saw and somewhat start a cut and hopefully I can uh, follow up these these lines corner to corner
Let's see what I got from this. Well, it didn't go too bad. It's uh, the shape is pretty much what I had seen uh, based on my memory. I don't know about the length or whatever, but it was this basic idea. The uh, stem is definitely a different type of a spiral that I saw. But, you know, it's really not me per se in the sense that I take somebody's idea and just do the same thing. But I was so intrigued by this piece that I had to do the same thing. Now, I have been already trying to play with this, uh, with different ideas of that. So, uh, you know, it's not per se that this is uh, brand new. Um, well, I shouldn't say that because this was a new piece that I was working on. Uh, but it was very wet. Um, it was a piece that I was working on from the... It will come to me. Oh, not right now. But anyway, I was turning and left the bowl here for a couple of days. And it um, has checked on the pit on the bottom. It would still be usable if I wanted to 
finished turning this and finishing cleaning up these uh, the spiral that's going through here uh, but I'm not sure what I want to do with it when I get something like that it uh, usually discourages me and the reason why that did that is because this base is pretty much solid wood and it didn't go quite as deep as it should have on that side and the fact that I left it alone and not finished it not uh, uh, sealed it in any way that's, that's what happens but uh, it's a pretty piece I might decide to save it and it will make a nice potpourri box with just that of course finished up and put a, a finial lid on it fill it up with the potpourri and the scent will come up through the openings and not spill all over the place so anyway that's one type of spiral and yeah, here's the other spiral uh, this spiral is like I said it's not uh, quite as pronounced as I wanted if I want or oh, a screw pattern but pretty piece the uh, wood of course is the golden trumpet and I've done enough of this golden trumpet just amazing on what it does got this little knot in here that really plays well with it and uh, the bark of course is to die for the bark was saturated with CA glue super glue to stiffen it up and uh, that will assure me that I can handle it without losing the bark well I hope you like it if you do like it give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed hit that subscribe button uh, I can't believe not in my wildest dream dreams did I ever think that this was ever going to happen uh, to me with 20,000 subscribers well as of right now as of this turning I'm eight subscribers away from the 20,000 mark so I'm sure today tomorrow uh, that mark will be met 20,000 thank you guys unbelievable uh, I can't say it was a dream, uh, you know, that I dreamed of because I just did it because I enjoy doing it, not because I expected that. But once they start coming in, once you guys start giving me thumbs up and uh, liking my channel, it's like, well, you know, maybe I do have something to offer that uh, maybe you guys uh, do like, uh, accidental or not. Thank you very much. Thank you for all the wonderful comments you guys give all the time. Take care. We'll see you on the next turn.